Um, hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. So someone wanted me to showcase how to specifically like uh, do this contraption. Basically you can see the, the on and off contraption, basically how it works. So this is a level I made if you want to play it. So let me show you let me show you how you do it. Alright. So basically as you can see this is the contraption and basically the way you do it is this. First of all you need the snake lock as the ground, that way if you go too far it won't dis the shell won't despawn. Second of all you need a spiny beetle or a pair or a Buzzy Beetle, but since we're in the 3D world, we have to use the Spiny Beetle since that, that's the only option you have. Third, you need to put the on and off switch on both sides or on one side. So let me show you how this works. So the whole idea is that once you come out of the pipe, uh, the Spiny Beetle falls. So uh, at a specific height, the Spiny Beetle will fall. So this is how it works. So let me show you exactly. All right. So as you can see it, it, uh, it goes on and off, and this is one of the contraptions, or one of the one of the one of the ways you do it. So let me show you another level and how uh, how it works. Uh, so this level. So this is another idea you can do, or another way you can do it. So as you can see, uh, boom, the the on off switch uh, mechanic. This is one of the other ways to do it. So what you can do exactly is that instead of uh, the buzz beetle falling down, you can use a, sp a, a spring contraption. Hold on. All right, let me show you exactly what I mean. Sorry. So, uh, what? So as you can see, the spring pushes the snake lock, the the buzz, the buzzy beetle shell. So instead, of, uh, you can just, you can just use a regular shell, and the spring on on a track will come and hit it. So like this. And if you put uh, an, 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 uh, an, an off block, it, it would immediately switch back uh, uh, back off uh, immediately. So as you can see, on, off, on, like that. So that's another way you can use a, 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 a horizontal spring on a track. So uh, let me show you two more ideas, on, uh, like one more idea with the boss battle, I guess. So this is a boss battle that uh, uses this mechanic, just for anyone who's interested. So basically, you go inside this room, you're stuck between two walls, and then the ball will shift back and forth. So basically, the the two walls are on uh, conveyor belts that are affected by, that is affected by the on-off switch. So once you come once you come out of the ground or the the door, see it uh, goes back on, back on uh, back off and on. So once you come out of the door, the spiny beetles has uh, already fell. So that's an example, another example. Another boss I can show you is this. You, you don't have to use uh, power blocks as walls, you can just use build blasters. Like this, uh, like this boss exactly.
Yeah, so you can see there's a uh, on-off uh, the conveyor belt is affected by the on-off on switch. Uh, there's a buzzy beetle. Yeah. Also, like I said, try to use the uh, snake block as the ground, as, especially if you're gonna make a very long level, because once you go far far enough, uh, it will despawn. So we'll put the snake block so it doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't despawn or go, uh, disappear basically. 